guys, I used a Dollar Tree store floor mat to line the shelves of my appliance pantry. As you can see, my contact paper is done over in me and through many ways of trying to make it stay still and stay in place, I was over it. So I came up with the idea with using these floor mats. Ikea incidentally has a brand um, of shelf liner that looks just like these floor mats. As you can see, their version is $8.99 for one mat. And so I went on ahead and got these from the Dollar Tree. And I figured my measurements, I think IKEA match measurements was what 20 by 30. Mine is 20 23 and a half by 15 and 3 quarters. I went on ahead and bought a few, figured if it would work, it worked, and make it work. So I went back and bought more. I think I got a total of 12 or 13 of them. Because besides the pantry, I was doing other cabinets as well. As you can see, I had to figure out a way to clean these. I did not want them put in my washing machine simply for the fact I didn't want residue um, in there since I had so many. So I took a water and bleach solution and kind of cringed because I didn't know what would happen. But they didn't turn, so I used that. And then I took a garment steamer and I did several passes over the front side, back side of them. And then as you can see there, I used that little hanging rack to hang them for them to air dry. And as you can see, I was not being docile with it. I was aggressively steaming it. You know, especially in today's time, you guys, we have to be safe. Okay, measurement time is next. That's self-explanatory. I would like to share that the corners on the mat from the Dollar Tree around it versus the mats from Ikea are pointed. If you prefer pointed, go ahead and cut them so that they're more square rather than rounded on the corners. On my shelf, I had about an inch and a half gap. I just simply placed some more mat underneath, traced it away using a Sharpie, and then filled in the space. There's the end, you guys. So I just want to add to you, if you're a person where patterns matter to you, make sure you're, cut, you're cutting your mat so that the flow is continuous. Didn't matter to me, just wanted to get the job done, to be honest. But I did do that underneath my cabinets. So here we go. Let's get this cabinet back filled, you guys. Okay, that timing, it needs work. I'll admit it. Anyway, here's the end here, you guys. I hope that you like it. I wanted you to clearly see how the shelving turned out because I do have more things that actually go inside of this pantry. At the end also, I have a puck light that I've always had in there. It just helps to keep things lit really well for me. And also a little basket to have my little catch-all or little loose bags that I may have. And I also added a hook where I also have my um, aprons as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please show me by giving me a thumbs up, please. And also go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you guys have any added tips or things that you would like to see me try or need help at, if I know how, I will do my best to do that. And lastly, you guys, for me, please stay safe and stay healthy out there, you guys. Bye-bye for now.